Hello everybody, and welcome to a Johnny Raz playthrough. If you're wondering by the menacing music what we're playing today, we'll be playing a certainly interesting game by the name of Undertale. Undertale is a single player RPG style game that I would say is loosely based off of the um, Nintendo game Earthbound. Uh, excuse me for one second. The themes of this game are a little bit darker, uh, as Earthbound was a lighter game that was received very well in Japan and America. Um, but it was a lighter game, lighter themes, with uh, lighter, I guess, characters and ideas. But the overall themes and symbols behind the game were a little bit darker. So this game is already darker. Um, we've named our character Johnny. And I've started because I started recording earlier with my uh, beginning monologue and I lost a little bit of that audio. So hopefully everything's working good. Hopefully my face cam isn't in the way of anything and we can get back to the good stuff. So we were talking with the flower guy. So ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. So it's like a classic RPG game. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. Love, level, whatever. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through... Little white... Friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. You're not supposed to get them. This is how it gets you. <coughs> Let's try again, okay? Is this joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the friendliness pellets. You hear how the music's getting worse and worse? You know what's going on here, don't you? I do, because I've played before. And the game recognizes that. You just wanted to see me suffer. Die! Shine! Somebody save me! Oh, and it's my good old friend. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Toriel. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. So, uh, Toriel, she's our first NPC character we'll meet. Very nice character. music in this game is so great. It's one of my favorite, and I think you guys will enjoy it very much as well. The shadow of the rooms looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Our first save. Johnny, level one, nine minutes in, ruins interest. How we feeling, my freaking chat? How we feeling today, today? I hope everybody's having a good day. I said chat because I'm so used to streaming. This is a Let's Play, so if you're enjoying the video and you like the comment, leave a like and subscribe down below. Turn on my bell for notifications whenever I post videos. I'm going to try to post at least twice a week good content coming to you. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. 
So a lot of this stuff that if you play the game regularly without doing it the way I do it, you have to do all these puzzles by yourself, but she shows you because I figured out the secret. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. First switch is over on the wall. Number one. Number two. Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. Watch this. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. There's the secret to the game that they never tell you, chat. I mean, YouTube. <laughs> they never tell you to strike up a conversation. You think it's a regular RPG and you have to fight everybody. But it's a lot better if you could talk with them. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. Toriel seems happy with you. Like I said, I want to go for a peace run. It's very ex. It's, it's, it makes a lot more sense once we get later on. But I'm gonna do Undertale, and then I'm gonna do what the Undertale sequel technically is, and it's Delta Rune. There are two parts out, and hopefully they'll have the third part out by the time that I'm finished with this playthrough, which will take maybe five to six videos, maybe maybe longer. Hopefully longer, because I'd love to be here and spend time with the great vibes you guys are bringing, just off of your views. I wonder if you can solve it. So she's gonna probably make me solve this by myself, because that's just how shit works in this game. Oh, a frog it. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. You get no XP and no gold. Oh, tough. It's not what you're used to seeing on a, any everyday RPG. So this is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. I've only played through this game once, chat, on my Switch, and I did not know any of this stuff and just started mercifully killing everybody. And I killed everybody. And I felt really bad about it because the game really does not reward you for killing everybody. You've done far this so far. You've done excellent so far, my child. Blah, blah, blah. She said something. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I love the suspenseful music, like, what the fuck's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, to the left, to the right, go up, go down, to the left, to the right, go up, go down, I'm just kidding, let's get to it, let's get to it, let's get to it, uh, uh, let's get to it, let's get to it, let's get to it, uh, this game is Undertale, I'm having a hell of a time, are y'all having a hell of a time, if you are then drop a comment below, and like and subscribe, thanks guys. There she was, behind the pedestal. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. I don't know if I'd say I trusted you, I just was walking to the end of the room. I kind of probably would have left if she never came back. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright?
so now we are on our own-ish. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. So we got the leaf pile saved. Let's see what we got. Oh, a Wimson. Approached meekly. We're not gonna fight him. How do I go back? Okay. So what we're gonna do is... Console him. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Like I said, this is a peace run. So I'm going for the, uh... No killing. I don't want to kill anybody. 100% peace run. Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please... Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. So you don't want to fight everybody. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure. Press C to open the menu. Or control. Well, I fell down the pit hole. This is what I'm starting to remember a little bit more of, but luckily it shoots you right out. And there's somebody here to talk to me. Another Wimpson. What do we know? All we just gotta do is console them. And they run away. You don't need experience. We don't need to kill anybody. Alright. Fell twice. Watch this. Oh, I just beat it. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, I like butterscotch personally. I'm like an old person. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. She just keeps blowing you up, sort of like a real-life parent would, calling you over and over again. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. So she just talks to you sometimes, but this is the way. Oh, I just told you guys a secret. Froggit's gonna hop on over, we're gonna do an action, we're gonna compliment Froggit. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. So, I'm pretty sure we can do this. There you go! Get some gold! From not killing anybody. Hello? You don't have any allergies, do you? Hmm? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. I don't know what I'm allergic to, food-wise. I don't like sweet potatoes, though. Ugh. Or pumpkin pie. Ugh. Double off. Ugh. Um, I also don't like... And yeah, sweet potatoes are worse. And liver. Liver's pretty gross, too. My family really likes liver a lot. So this is the actual path that I'm supposed to take. I gotta memorize that. Let's see what we got. Another frog hit. Oh, I don't want to fight him. I'm gonna give him another compliment. Froggit, you're so pretty, Froggit. But he's flattered. I just gotta dodge these. Oh, shit. So we're to fight. There we go. Two gold. So now I'm starting to get the money in these. What do we want to get? What do we want to get? So we get it. It's close. Oh, I went too close. I went too far over. Got a lot of pieces moving, you know. I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to take over all digital mediums. No, I'm just kidding, but I do want to have like a good collection of like videos and stuff um, out for people to check out. Let me see here, we're gonna act and see what we can do. Let's flirt with it. You wiggle your hips, mold small, wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. Ooh. Ooh. 
The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. What does that do? We're gonna flirt some more. Sexy Wiggle. Mold Small is ruminating. Let's imitate it. You lie immobile with Mold Small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Slime sounds. Ah. Mold Small waits pensively. Curvaciously attractive, but no brains. Like I said, this is a, a whole... There it is. I was just trying to do the whole dance and exhaust all of it, just to see what they could potentially say to me. So now I know that where I went last time was too low. Okay, again, I went too far over. So I just gotta go back up, over, down. Back up, over, down. Snake serpentine-ish pattern. Back up, over, down. Back up, over, down. Back up, over, down. Let's see. Okay. Oh, shit. I went too down. Too far over. Gotta go all the way down. Another Whimson. What do you want? Talk to me. Console you. You're gonna cry. What do you want to say to me, buddy? Then he ran away. Looks like he doesn't have anything to say to me. What can I, can I blame him? I'm a, I mean, look at me. Fuck. What would you say? Little mistakes. This is how we learn. Might as well just go through the whole thing so I can see what not to do. There it is. I don't even have to fight him. Oh, shit. Unless I talk to him, then I can fight him. So I gotta go all the way over, all the way down, all the way over, up. Cool. Good to know. So all the way down was the next move that I don't think I did the correct way. Up. What we got? Wimson? Easy. 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 See that? Oh, baby. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, a pair of froggets. I don't want to fight froggets, guys. Froggit didn't understand what you said. Froggit doesn't seem to know, so this one's good. We're gonna compliment this one. And we got both of them in the act. Bam! Four gold! Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Oh, no, 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 sweetie, this way. That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Beautiful. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. You wanted me to stay there. You're giving me a real workout. Atta, partner. A random block of cheese. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. I am determined by watching that mouse do his thing with his hole. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Gross. That's really fucking gross. I don't want to walk on top of this ghost. Z, 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 Z. Are they gone yet? Z, Z, Z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Can you imagine if somebody actually did that, like while they're sleeping, just That would be so irritating. Move it with force? We don't want to move the guy. Z, Z, Z. So those keep saying Z, so I, I guess I have to move him by force. 
Here comes Naps to look. Naps to blue. Naps to blue. Nori, move your hand off of that damn curtain. Naps to look. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Staring into the distance. Okay. You gave Napster Block a patient smile. Hey. I'm really n not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Napster Block looks a little bit better. I'll try to flirt with him. I'll just weigh you down. Oh, you'd never weigh me down. Naps the block looks just a little bit better. Let's see where we're at real quick. I gotta see. I'm gonna put another five minutes on my timer to make sure I get enough in this video. Naps the bloop looks just a little bit better. Try flirting again. Naps the block looks just a little bit better. Try another cheer. You told Na you told Naps the Bluk a little joke. Hehe. <laughs> cheering seems to have improved Naps the block. Okay, so I have to keep cheering him on. Wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluk. Do you like it? <laughs> Naps the blue eagerly awaits your response. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. There it is, guys. And that's what the power of friendship does. Not everything needs to be a fight. Not everything. If you couldn't see the mouse hole, it's right there across the other wall. I'm gonna go try to touch it to see if it'll come. All he does is squeak at me. Let's see what they got up here. Mm. Okay. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web? Fuck no. 18G? Fuck no. Not a millionaire. I'm just a kid. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Well, I'm not a spider, so. Ribbit, ribbit, sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Oh, not you too. Wow, you just taught me how to skip. Heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. I've heard that too. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs. I've only seen a maximum of uh, three frogs in this room. This is troubling. To me. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are only three frogs. Ribbit, ribbit, I've heard you are quite, a mer quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now, a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. So that's going to be something that we need to keep in mind for later boss fights. Having that yellow name means that I can go over to the... Uh, mercy and spare or run away what do you think of that it's bad or it's very helpful it is very helpful remember sparing is just saying you won't fight maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up I was not expecting to have company so soon there are probably a lot of things lying about here and there you can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. So just space management, of course, as every game does. Looks. Lo looks. I think it's looks. Yeah, it's probably looks. wonder if I have to just look at him. Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. There we go. We got him uh, yellow. You get gold, though, for le leaving people. Beat this whole game at level 1. You guys are going to see. It's going to be crazy. There's just one switch.
another looks. Now I'm pretty sure, even though it doesn't matter. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Vegetoid cackles softly. Eat your greens. So you want to hit the green ones always. You want to hit the green ones. Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. There you go. I'm pretty good at sparing him. After I went through and killed everything, I've learned how to save things. This is the goal in this game, is to find a little bit of heart and a little bit of sanity in this very dark and gruesome world. So we're going to find our next save point, and then I'll probably be just about at the end of my time for the day. Had a couple of my alarms go off. Sorry about that, uh, guys. He's staring right through me. We don't need to fight. Sometimes you just don't have to fight, guys. That should be the lesson for today's video. Don't fight. That's the title. Don't. Sometimes you don't have to fight. Even though it feels so good. <laughs> so good. I love it. I love fighting. Fight. Fight, fight, fight! Let's see what this one says. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Interesting. It's a switch. Press it. Yeah, sure, why not? Nothing happened. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. I will never pick on you, buddy. You seem like such a nice guy. Why would I pick on ya? I'm getting pretty good at this chat. I mean, <laughs> I have to get so used to not saying chat, because I think that I'm talking to people, but I'm not. I'm just talking to myself. So none of these do it. It's just a switch in perspective. There's no blue though, if you notice. So blue has to be the way, right? You notice there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. I was gonna say, there has to be the blue, right? <laughs> there it is. Click clack, patty whack, baby. Looks it? Oh, a pair of looks. Decide to pick on me. Well, I won't pick back. I might die. Oh god, 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 oh god. JK, JK, JK. I was just hoping I'd run into a save, but. Faded ribbon, armor defense, if you're not cuter, monsters won't hit you as well. Alright, well, that sounds like something I need to be cute. That should make me not get my ass beat as bad. Very unlicorice like Okay, so this must be... Oh, wait, what does this say? Looks... A pair of veg toys. Oh, shit! It's a good thing I didn't hit him. Dinner, you pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. So you have to find the green ones, because those ones will give you health. Okay, got that one good. I get this one. He offers a healthy meal. Ate your greens. 
Oh, I missed my green. We got him, though. Oh. This one needs a little bit more. Oh, I didn't catch the green. Eat your greens. Eat your greens and eat your greens. I see. That's the differentiation. There it is. So you have to get the green from each one. There we go. Let's see what this says. If you can read this, press the red switch. Word. It's a good thing I can read. Another way to test to make sure that you're playing the game to its full. full. Mi Migos. So most small, you never have to fight him. La la, just be yourself. Oh, he's dancing. Doesn't have a care in the world. Cool. Easy. If you can read this, press the green switch. Swing your arms, baby. He's doing like a little bit of this. What is that called? The wave? He's in the little wave. Easy. It's way easier to honestly not fight these guys than it is to fight them. Let's just switch. That's the right one. Um, I think this is... Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Let's see what she's gonna say. She's gonna call me. I'm right here. Yeah, it was good. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Here, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. There's my save, guys. Next video, we'll see what the surprise is. Just what Katori will be hiding. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. JK, guys. Thank you so much, though, for joining today's video. Um, I'm Johnny Rass. If you like the video, leave a like, drop a comment below, uh, tell me what you thought about it. And while you're there, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Hope you guys have a good day and enjoy it. It's a beautiful one outside. Take care, guys.